Hi, my name is Bruno and I'm a technical educator at the Web3 Foundation. Today we'll briefly go through the process of contributing to our Polkadot wiki through the GitHub UI, so that you don't have to download any software, you can do it all in your browser. Check it out! This is the Polkadot wiki GitHub repository and the link to it will be in the description of this video. So let's see if there's any issues we can contribute to. We can see here that there are some stale files that we need to refresh and you might have your own issues that you want to take care of. Maybe you've noticed some inaccuracies, found a typo or want to add a link to some useful resource. That's fine. Uh, just for practicality's purposes, I will now uh, edit an existing file here so that we can resolve one of these issues. For example, the contributors file is kind of out of date. The last edit there happened 23 days ago, so let's see if we can bring it up to speed, so if we can refresh it. The contributors file lists all the contributors to the Polkadot wiki. Uh, those are notably the technical educators and Joe Petrovsky from Parity. Kirsten is now um, gone from the Web3 Foundation. She was our temporary intern and we're, we were very sad to see her go. So she is no longer an active contributor. And uh, I believe this, sh this should be noted on this page, uh, as well as some contact information should be added along with every contributor so that people who read the wiki know who to get in touch with if they notice some serious discrepancies or even if they encounter a scam in the wild and need to check if it's legit, especially when there are people impersonating contributors. So let's modify the contributors page and fix this problem. To edit pages, uh, you will find all of the documents that you can edit in the docs folder of the Polkadot wiki source files. The file is called contributors.md, so let's just find that one. And there it is, contributors.md. Now, this file is rendered in preview mode and to edit it, we click the edit icon in the top right corner of the pages frame. If you don't already have a fork of the Polkadot wiki on your account, GitHub will ask you to make one. A fork is a clone of the project that you then edit and when you're done editing, you will be pushing changes from your clone to the original. So you never really edit the original files, you edit a copy and then you apply the changes on that copy to the master, to the original. So my account already has a fork of the Polkadot wiki, so this step is skipped, but the rest of the process is identical. So each of these entries could use an email address so that people can get in touch with the various contributors. This does open the doors to a little bit of spam, but to be honest, our emails aren't really that secret anyway. It's just first name and then the domain of the company. So Bruno at web3.foundation. And it's always better to be explicit so people know exactly who to get in touch with and how in case there are any doubts or uh, maybe some uncertainties. So let's add the email for Anson. And now let's do the same for every other contributor. So we now have these email links added, but how do we make sure that these links actually render properly? And it, this is a very important step to check what your changes will look like. So there are two approaches you can take for this. One is to preview the changes, and then you'll notice that these um, parts marked in green, they are the additions. If you had removed some information, they would be marked in red. So red is removed info information and green is added information. So we have the email links next to each contributor now, but um, this doesn't look, really look good and it's good that we tried the preview first, right? So let's just separate it a little bit like this so that we can see what that looks like. All right, so this is a little better. We have a little separator and an email link in that um, in in those in those square brackets, right? So let's do that for every contributor now. Okay, our edit is now complete. Let's check it again, and okay, we all have our email links added. Now, 
to actually propose this change to the master uh, copy of the wiki source, you would scroll down to the bottom and so this option is not going to be available to you. So commit directly to the master branch is only available to me because I'm um, one of the administrators of the Polkadot wiki. You will have this option which you should also pick. So create a new branch for this commit and start a pull request. The, the branch name doesn't matter. You can make it something descriptive, but nobody really reads those because they don't tend to live very long. Once the changes are merged in, the branch will be deleted. So this is just going to create a new branch and suggest these updates to the master copy. In the commit changes dialog, you can add some information on what you did and why. So here we'll say update contributors with email info and then under the extended description you can justify this further if you want this is optional so I thought it would be useful for contributors to have some canonical contact information and now we click propose changes now another dialog will open that suggests you open a pull request. So the previous one only saved those changes on your local copy. This dialog will help you create a pull request and a pull request is a suggestion to the master copy to apply those changes. So this will automatically copy the description that you already put in before and uh, all you need to do is just click create pull request. Now the pull request is created and you can see here that Swader, which is my username, wants to merge one commit, that's the change we just did, into master from Swader patch 3. So I'm merging from my branch into master and suggesting this change. Now the GitHub UI will inform you of some checks that are going on. The um, continuous integration process that we have set up at the wiki will now check if all links are clickable and not invalid, if the formatting is correct, so the line length uh, matches what our standard is, um, and some other checks as well. And to check what your changes, what your suggested changes look like, you have the second option of a preview now. If you go into files changed, you will now see your changes. So you can see here that the heading without the email was removed and the heading with the email was added for every contributor that we have here. So we have added our email information. And you can also preview this in full mode by going to the three dots menu in the top right corner of the pages frame and clicking on view file. You can open this in a new tab so that you don't navigate away from this pull request and if we check this out, this is what it's going to look like. Now we can close this preview. And remember, you can always keep editing. You can click on edit file. You can always clip, keep editing this pull request that is still pending, that is still open and not merged. Until it's merged, your changes will just keep, uh, keep, stash, keep stacking up to the changes that you previously did. So at this point, your duty is done. You're, you're, you've done all you can and all you have to do now is wait for somebody from the team to notice your PR. We will go, all get an email when this happens. When somebody submits a new PR, the pull, pull request, we all get an email and we will immediately check things out. Um, we will then assign somebody as a reviewer and somebody's going to check this out and merge it into the, uh, into the wiki if all the edits are valid. If not, we will ask for some changes in the comments of this pull request and then you will be able to perform those changes and get back to us and we'll work together on making that pull request um, up to uh, getting it up, up to some standards that we expect from pull requests. Um, once the pull request is merged into the Polkadot wiki, you can expect it to be live on the website in a little under five minutes once the entire thing compiles and is deployed to our server. Uh, that's all there is to it. Really, it's very simple to contribute to the wiki, so I really encourage you to uh, find some bugs, find some typos, and try uh, chiming in, try, try helping us out with keeping the wiki up to date, add some info, and uh, yeah, we'd, we'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much, and see you in the next one.